So it's been 10 years since the last excavation here, and it's a real honor and a privilege to be able to come back and work at this site. And it's, of course, really exciting. I mean, this is an amazing site to work at, so I feel very lucky that we're able to have our field school here. Why is Mission San Luis a big deal? Because it was the western capital of Spanish La Florida. And so as the western capital, it was the westernmost outpost of the Spanish Empire in this part of the New World. And it was also an important site because you had Spanish and um, Apalachee indigenous people living here together in a very fairly large community. How's it going? So you have to dig out more. Okay. Reasons for being here is that it was a good place to farm, not only crops, but also domestic livestock, and that those animals and their products would be sent back to, to St. Augustine. Um, we're actually in an area called the Spanish Village, hence the reconstructed Spanish house behind us. So we are in just north of that house, and we have found basically the footprint of another Spanish house. This is the excavated floor plan of the Spanish house that they based reconstructions off of. We have part of a smudge pit, we have more posts, and we have bits of chunked up burned clay floor that we think the Spanish dug through to put their posts in for their structure. So that's the type of evidence that we're looking for, which is really kind of neat. I mean, it's like a puzzle in reverse or something. You know, about 20 minutes ago, there was about 19 of these laid out. With these, we know all the shirts came from this provenience. So we put them in here, so we know that where it came from, we know when it was dug, we know what they are. We know what the area numbers assigned to them are. It's important to know where everything is. We dig everything within levels. We dig everything depending on where it is located. We've been doing this since January. And in January, we actually started with survey work, which is one of the most basic forms of archaeology, where you're out surveying a landscape looking for potential sites. Um, so we did that for three or four weeks. And then we started excavating. They've learned how to what we say, delineate a feature, find a feature and see how big it is and map it and then excavate it. They're so learning how to window our water screen and process artifacts in the lab. And then because it's such a long field school, it's the whole spring semester, they get to practice all those skills over and over and over. Okay, so this area was discovered as something of interest when they were, before they widened Ocala Road. And what they found here was a clay quarry site where People were coming to dig out the clay. They mined all the clay, but then they came and dumped all their trash in it. So a trash dump is like the best thing to an archeologist. It is just a data trove, right? So um, my two students, Emily and Hannah, are down here. They've been here the whole season trying to get through it. It's just, we have found all sorts of, you know, interesting ceramics and animal materials, just all the things you would expect to find in somebody's trash. Um, but you know, this tells us a lot about the way people out here lived. It was actually a pretty good place to live um, for the time. Well, for the students, it's for them to come out of here and, and have not only learned all of the skills that you would need for an excavation from start to finish. This field school has been certified by the Register of Professional Archaeologists, which is an, an international organization, and they can put that on their resumes that they've taken a 16-week RPA certified field school. And anyone that sees that will know the very minimum of qualifications that this field school had, and it exceeded it, really, um, that the students have gained. So that's my goal for them, and to hopefully like it enough that they want to pursue it further. You know, we have graduate students here, we have undergraduates here, and I know many of the undergraduates and I have talked about doing research, their own independent research projects on things that we found here, which is pretty awesome. And I think some of the grad students have um, found thesis projects based on the work that we've been doing here. So, you know, I just want them to learn stuff and to, and to like doing it. And I think everyone <laughs> likes doing it. This has been a really great uh, group of students. So my goal is for them to, if they want to get a job doing this, go out and be hired right away and not need any extra training because they've done everything.